Hello everybody, it's Christine. Time for a scrap of process video. Oh, I think Saturn has sneezed on my picture. Um, so I'll show you my picture. So this is me and my daughter and she was one year old. Look at that, I managed to write on the back of it. This was her one year birthday, I think. Look at that, she had the cutest hair, y'all. Um, and we got, and got these, we had little matching dresses my mama sewed. I think these are so cute. Sorry. Um, the collection I have is from the Scrap Room Flavors of the Month. I'm sorry. And it's uh, by Fancy Pants. It's Honey and Bee. I love this collection. Look at these bees, y'all. How pretty is that? Like, that's just beautiful. Um, and then there's kind of a simple little floral here. I, I feel like I'm definitely using this side, and I'm thinking, I feel like I'm definitely going to use these. I'm not certain about this yet. And there's a couple of white pieces of cardstock and some little ephemeras. Now, the sketch that I have, I just went looking, and I have on this um, Scrap and Sketch monthly challenge or something like that. It's a Facebook group. And this is July 2023, Crop Challenge number three. And it's based on a throwback sketch from 2018. It's real nice and simple. So, I'm going to work with this is my idea here. That's why I'm not sure about the third pattern, because it's only showing two, but that doesn't mean I can't add a little something, something, right? So, that's what I'm going to do. So, let me do a little bit of trimming here. I'm definitely, I think my plan is to use like this. So, maybe I will go ahead and mat this like this to give a little color on the back side. And then I definitely want to use these bees, y'all. And then maybe I'll double mat the, and maybe I'll mat the photo on the yellow as well. And I think that might be where I'm going. And then, of course, I've got all these cute little things here. So, I can use those. All right, let me do some trimming. I'll be right back on. Okay, gang. So, what I've done at this point is I have trimmed down that hexagon paper by a half inch on both sides. And I did gut the yellow to be the mat, and then I decided to make the yellow also be basically a mat for my square. So I'm going to end up gutting that again, and which is funny because I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't even sure I was going to use that pattern. I ended up using it three times, so that's kind of funny to me. But I really love that B paper, so I'm kind of happy with using it as my main square. And, but I just, I really did think it would be pretty mounted on this yellow, so that's what I end up doing. Um, I cut the yellow as a 9 by 9 I believe it was. And then I cut the B paper as an eight and a half by eight and a half. And I will end up scuffing the edges to kind of finish them out. Uh, but I wanted to use that yellow floral as a photo mat. So you'll, that's kind of the main reason for matting that. So I'm really loving this color combination, honestly. I think it looks great with the little photo. And um, I, just, I just thought it was really pretty. So I'll tell you about the photo real quickly. So I, I may have mentioned this before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have. I could not tell you what video or anything like that. But... When my daughter was born, I decided to get a professional photo taken of her every month for her first year. Um, this is back in the day where you could go to like JCPenney or Sears or Walmart. I think maybe Walmart. Anyways, you could go and get like a, a photo batch done for like $19.99 and you got one pose or whatever. Um, now, they gave you like a thousand pictures of it, the same pose. I don't know why you'd ever need that many. I guess the whole idea was you mail them off to people or whatever. But anyways, I tended, I did that every month. The, the hardest part for me was always showing restraint and not buying all the, all the poses because, uh, of course, that was their job, right, was to sell you all the poses. But this happened to be the one where she turned one. And so what I'm going to end up doing here, too, by the way, is I, I decided to mount that on white cardstock. So I had to cut away because I had to run and go get it. I didn't want to cut into that full 12 by 12 sheets of white cardstock I had with the kit there. So I ran off and got me a piece, and it just happened to be the exact right width. So that was kind of nice. Um, and then I'm going to end up putting it on this yellow here. And I really like this because I kind of have this... The white, you know, hexagon is now kind of mimicked with this white photo mat, and I really kind of loved how that looked. And I'll end up scuffing the edges of that, too. And I'm sorry, you guys. This morning, Saturn was all in the middle of stuff. I had actually gotten a pair of shoes yesterday, and I had the box sitting on the ground because I had just put the new shoes on. And sure enough, she climbed right up in it, and she parked herself there for quite a little while, actually. <laughs> I shared it on my Instagram story, I was, and I think I titled it, uh, If I Fits, I Sits. You know, she's kind of like that. So I've got all my, my big mats and stuff done. And I'll also tell you guys, I showed you the sketch in the beginning, and it was on a Facebook group and everything. Well, my iPad's a little booger. He will go to sleep or whatever, and then sometimes when I try to get back on there, it, like, loses its place on Facebook. And I was too lazy. This It did that this time. So I kind of remembered the sketch. I didn't, I, So I'm kind of doing this from memory at this point because that darn Facebook group just disappeared on my screen or whatever. And I didn't go looking for it again. So I'm doing mostly by memory. So I will tell you, I really watched my intro here. And I recognized that there, the sketch actually had the title underneath the photo. 
So my title's in a little bit different spot, but again, it was mostly because I was trying to do it from memory and I, I couldn't remember exactly where the title was. So, plus I have this little bitty card that I'm going to end up using as the title. Um, and so I'm not sad about it. It's kind of down there in that lower bottom cluster. It did have a little tabby, you know, on the, underneath the square. So that's kind of what I use that floral for. And that's what I decided to use that title. And so I'm just going to build out clusters basically in the bottom, the lower left of the photo and the upper left of the little, of the, of the little, the square. And at this point, what I'm doing now is just, uh, I've kind of dry fit them and I'm just coming back on here with foam and adding dimension. So I'm putting dimension. I put dimension up underneath the B. BU, and then I'm doing dimension at the little B that's down there, which I just thought was too cute. And then I did that bow up there. Um, and then I'm going to also end up doing that, that whatever that is, some kind of basket or purse or something. And then I'm going to come in with these puffy uh, stickers. I do use the two florals right here. I wasn't sure at first, but I'll have to add foam here because that puffy floral and stuff is taking up, you know, a little bit of lever. Um, it raises the ephemera piece, so I do add a little bit of foam here as well. But I end up using every piece of ephemera and every puffy sticker. And all that's fine and good, except I do still have some scraps. And I thought to myself, oh, I'll, I'll throw me a quick layout together over here. And then I go, well, Christine, you've used every darn piece of embellishment that came with the kit. <laughs> so I'll have to get into my stash to embellish my um, my little layout that I'm going to make with scraps. I haven't decided if I'm going to make a video about that or maybe I'll make a short or something. I don't know because there's not much of it. It won't take too long to throw something together because anytime you're kind of down to the last baby bits. I don't think um, layouts take that long. You don't have as much to choose. You know, you don't have much to think about. So I'm just finalizing my little puffy stickers here. I'll end up putting a floral there. Uh, the little teacup goes in the upper left. And I'm trying to think what else there was. I think there's another little floral and he gets tucked in there. And then what I'm going to end up doing after all this is that that's basically the layout, except I do decide you know what? I need to add a little mixed media. <laughs> so I'm going to run over and get some Lindy Stamp Gang. I think it's called Oh shoot! I showed the I showed the name right there. It's like a, it's a gold. Um, shoot! I had the name in my head a minute ago, but it's a little gold spark, a uh, gold thing. I tried to use my little wand, and he wasn't sprinkling like I wanted, so I pulled out my paintbrush, and I'm just going to sprinkle kind of around the clusters where they are, and then I will end up taking a little paper towel and kind of blotting uh, the. T I'm too impatient, y'all. I don't let it ever dry. I probably should, but I don't. And I need to do that trick where you roll the paper towel, but. I haven't pulled that out either. <laughs> I tell myself all the time I need to do things, then I just never get to it. So that's all I'm going to do the layout, y'all. I think this turned out really pretty. I kind of let the bees be the embellishments on that left-hand side over there. I probably could have journaled or something, but honestly, I didn't want to. I think it looks really pretty. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram at Scrapping Hard. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. Do the little bell so you get notified. I try to do videos Tuesday, Thursday, and then I have several hops. So usually Sundays I have a video, sometimes Mondays, sometimes Saturdays. So, but definitely usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.